But if you do away with the money system and build access centers where anyone can have access to the necessities of life without filling out a million forms or appealing to fresco, it's all available to everyone. Everything on earth is made by people that worked hard to achieve that. So a young man at Princeton got up and he said, I don't like your system at all. I said, I can't do anything with what you're saying. What is it that you don't like? He said, well, you want to give people things for nothing. I said, were you born in America? He said, yes. You got the airplane, the telephone, the radio, airplanes, ships, all for nothing. You didn't have anything to do with that, I'm sure. Right? So I said, does it hurt you? He said, no, but I don't like the idea of people getting things for nothing. So I said, are you paying your way through Princeton? He said, no, my dad is. I said, does that bother you? Does that hurt you? He says, I still don't believe people ought to get anything for nothing. So I said, okay, okay. Your dad is wealthy, as I understand it. He says, yes. When he dies, you want his money to go to the heart fund and the cancer fund, not to you, because you don't believe anybody ought to get anything for nothing. He said, just a minute. Well, they left and off the platform. <laughs> so when I say people hardly know what they're talking about, because they're not brought up to be sane. They're brought up to fit in with the establishment. So it's very hard to ask people, what do you vote for? I believe in democracy. There's never been a democracy anywhere in the world. There can't be a democracy if people have different incomes. If you get minimum wage and your kid gets sick, you can't take him to a doctor you can't afford it. So he buys a used car. The used car breaks down more than a used car and he's up to debt under there.